What's going on, everyone? Welcome to the Move Groove Grow podcast. This segment is me just sharing behind the scenes updates of what's happening with my social media company, Vision Paradox, uh, my dance company, Temper Tantrum, and my personal brand, Emory TV. Uh, didn't record an update last week because it was my son's 12th birthday, and I just wanted to be a dad and hang out with him. He was here with me for the week. He lives in Arizona, so whenever, whenever he gets to visit and stay with me uh, in L.A., work just stops. I just hang out with him. Um, my hair is crazy. I haven't gotten a haircut in the past uh, two months, simply because I just have not prioritized it because we're not filming for filming until next month. So I'm probably going to cut it then. Uh, but anyways, in terms of my son's birthday, um, yeah, just go out and Pokemon cards. Uh, it's kind of crazy just seeing a person grow up based off your influence uh, because one of the most impactful things that I've ever heard, that I ever heard uh, was uh, when Jordan's mom was still pregnant with him. Uh, pers- this person said, you're not just bringing a life into this world, you're bringing a consciousness. So that just means I'm br- helping develop, influence his way of thinking. Uh, his point of view about the world and more importantly about it himself. And uh, I think it was at that point I wanted to make sure it was two things. One, he's not an asshole and he, he's considerate and, you know, he's compassionate. And uh, two, that he is content and even happy with himself. Uh, because I know just from my own experiences of my mom doing the best she can, it's still affected me on certain ways uh and i know my parenting is still gonna affect him in certain ways uh but i hope to not give him the same damage that i got and if anything to help him have a stronger sense of self um i know from just witnessing it already and then other people's experiences that he's already a sweet kid he's insanely compassionate uh, and considerate and uh, empathetic. One of the things that I've decided to keep doing uh, is do birthday interviews with him. Um, and I think one of my favorite answers that I got from him was like, what do you like about yourself? Or what, do you, or what are you proud of yourself right now? And just, you know, him hearing him acknowledge himself. And I think it was just him saying, just existing, just life. So just the simple things right now. Uh, I'm, he's 12, he's going to be a teenager next year. So some of the things I'm anticipating for in terms of milestones, uh, aside from the obvious thing of hitting puberty, uh, is heartbreak, his first, uh, love. If he decides to go in that route or like if he might just not be interested at all, other milestones, obviously graduating middle school, high school, all that stuff. But it's, but those are things though, the, the challenges of the heart and challenges of ambition of he has a goal of wanting to become pro in baseball and the what i'm excited to see what he is willing to do to get there because that that journey is going to be hard but if he really wants it you know i believe in him and i support it so uh yeah the more the more memorable moments like more the more memorable moments recently was just the whole time he was here he was very limited screen time which is very very uh rare i would say for a kid in 2024 where a lot of kids are kind of glued to their phone um he was major i'd say 90 percent hanging out doing stuff with us and 10 percent on the phone um I don't even even consider it the phone. Yeah, like if he used the phone, he was probably using it as a reference to draw something. Um, all the other stuff was us. All the, all, all the other screen time was just watching Stranger Things. Uh, and then all the other stuff was board games or we were out and about uh, exploring LA or doing one of his favorite hobbies or just, yeah. So I think it was, it's a, it was honestly just the simple things that can easily be taken for granted. It's not like the, you know, Disneyland trips are great, but it's just 
feeling since he's not at a home he's not he doesn't live with me it's just nice to do things to feel at home so on uh, in terms of, M of MRI TV I am going to be live streaming this week so if you guys happen to be watching this I'm going to be live streaming on Thursday might be it's like likely going to be a long uh, long stream because they have finally finished the fixing the road in front like I live in a, on the main street so they finally fixed the street there uh, it took about two months for them to fit uh, to fix so and I, I know I'm very backlogged when they were working on it it was one incredibly loud two uh, sometimes the house would shake from uh, from the construction uh, so I just didn't want to deal with having to do all that audio cleanup uh, because the street is noisy as it is already and I'm also aiming to release another episode of street woman fighter season one to the channel that's been ch challenging uh, several I've been looking at other reaction channels uh, that have their way of posting uh, for sp specifically anime um, of how they format it some people like leave it on screen for like four seconds and cut some people have a black bar some pe some people will lower the opacity uh, there's a lot of different techniques uh, I've done two three different versions and each one has been different uh, and then I, I and then that's where I think like I think I got it and then I try it again it does not work so uh, and putting that together takes a little longer than a regular reaction because of the render time uh, it's not so much just like it's not a five ten minute uh, thing it's a whole hour uh, and then uploading it to see if it works uh, in terms of vision paradox uh, Max and I recently got to meet with the security company this past weekend um, they're out of town for a while so they finally got in contact with us they uh, we sat down with them did the thing we kind of rehashed uh, what we originally talked about with him and also his I think business partner or consultant uh, so we're all on the same page uh, we agreed on what we're gonna do uh, sending him the contract reviewing everything and then we're gonna be starting as soon as possible uh, so pretty excited the main thing I would I want for this is the autonomy uh, in terms of things w like they we collaborate in the creation but I want but the most important thing is that we have the autonomy in terms of we know what's going to work trust us and trust the process uh, because I think that's one of the things that is one of the things that turned me off about working client with clients is because um, there's a idea of how it should be done versus how it's actually done or how you know uh, versus you know being a practitioner at it you know uh, that's like the main thing like I'm excited to be working with uh, to be working with a client again because I loved being able to create things and tell different stories um, but if the, if it's hindered in a way where I know it's 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 kind of like made corporate or it's too branded and it doesn't land with the audience or it, it doesn't feel like the story is authentic uh, and then and we're, and we're too busy trying to pitch then that's where kind of you know the again I speak up a lot so um in terms of uh storytelling uh this past weekend uh max and lauren were booked for a gig lauren was a ta talent manager uh max was the face painter uh it, it, it's with this company called moving on up productions uh i meet Lauren actually max lauren and i occasionally teach and dance with them but sometimes they book us for other things because they know we can do other things uh vision paradox got last minute books to do to do the event coverage uh and i had a blast doing it i was gonna do it anyways uh, simply because I just like documenting and filming stuff like that and then creating, you know, different st ways to tell the story. Uh, but now it just happens to get paid. Uh, currently working on that and trying to do a kind of a fast turnaround on it because it was pretty last minute and it's a current event. So I'm, tr I'm trying to finish that today and deliver it by tomorrow. Um, there's a lot of deliverables. Generally, I would have like clear deliverables and clear scope of work. Uh, but because this for the, the people who own the comp who own that company are also friends um, I'm just gonna play I'm just gonna let myself enjoy the process in terms of temper tantrum dance company we have this whole month of October we are uh, we are just doing nothing with training uh, the first two hours we're working on breaking training or break dance which is the more commercial media, mainstream term but the original name is breaking or b-boying b-girling uh, if you want to go with that the purpose of training as I say training a million times is to make sure we kind of well one obviously growth but also try to to 
at least close the gap in terms of skill level. Uh, for example, some people know a certain style of choreography really well, and ideally I would like to, and, but only like say three people can do it well. Ideally, we would like to push that to 10, maybe the rest of the company. Uh, and that's why we do the training. Uh, so, and that way we can also look cohesive as a unit. Um, my original intent with Temper Tantrum was never to like have any sort of training. It was more so do your own training. Like, cause that, that's, that was my kind of experience with another company I was with when I was touring. Like we don't do training together. Like you do your own training, you bring your, you bring your skill sets there. But albeit a lot of people in that were kind of heavy hitters already and had their own ambition and training. So, uh, one thing to, that I acknowledge with temper tantrum is like not everyone is ambitious to the point where they're taking their dancing to the level of professional, but it's more so a hobby and a passion that they want to get good at. Um, so, or just some people just want to keep it as a hobby and something they do for fun without necessarily having and having to train their dancing is when it's with us. So considering there's a lot of people with different intentions, and whatnot, the only thing I can really control to make sure that we have a quality dance product is to do the training. The, I would say the the upside is that they would be they get to be very familiar with our style of choreography. Um, and how I've structured these rehearsals is that it's open. And if they have friends that want to come train and dance with us on a Sunday morning, uh, <laughs> they're more than welcome to for a small fee of 10 bucks, uh, which I think is a steal for a two hour training session and 20 bucks for a four hour training session because a lot of our classes here in LA are minimum like 22 bucks 25 bucks so for just one hour or maybe one hour and a half even though we're not like Olympian level or Janet Jackson like level dancers um, some of us are like at least in the zeitgeist of touring experience battle experience teaching experience so it's not like uh, a bunch of newbies and rookies uh, teaching you we, like, a lot of us have a variety of experience a couple other things with temper tantrum as well that is that we are going to be filming our halloween podcast this saturday so keep an eye for that um we haven't had a proper like spooky storytelling uh podcast for probably about two years ago uh since we last did it um focusing on supernatural experiences or um near-death experiences or maybe read something off reddit uh if you're really you know desperate for content um but yeah so excited to do that love doing the podcast because it's, it's just a great way to document some of our chaotic conversations current challenges i'm, go I'm dealing with right now is really time management and you can try to balance work commitments versus spending time with loved ones because there's a strong urge for both uh the, the thing is like when i'm in my zone i don't want to hang out and when i'm in my like of work but when i'm in the zone of spending time and like i sometimes I sometimes hesitate to get, go back to work, um, but I have I have a natural inclination to, that I just want to keep working. Um, yeah, but there is a strong des desire that I just want to find a way to to spend more time with my son. Because to be honest, like finances lately have been a little more challenging. Um, I know a, a lot of that falls on me uh, because I decided to not go as aggressive and getting agency clients and to go more on uh pursuing youtube and online and content creator to be a part of the the creator economy uh so that comes with a lot more freedom but a lot more demands to make it happen uh and it's been doing i'd say okay but is that was it at the same level as it was say a couple of years ago when vp was the main thing i was focusing no but that's uh no that's the consequences of different choices. Uh, and honestly, I'm enjoying myself in terms of the work I'm doing. I think it, it, the, the work is, yeah, I'm enjoying, I, I'm, honestly, I'm enjoying a lot, of, a lot more of the work I'm doing. I can work 14, fuck, if I can go 24 hours just working on the shit that I'm interested in, I can do that. All right, so lesson from the past two weeks. I think it, it, it's coming from this one song I recently heard from Phineas, uh, Billy Eilish's brother. Uh, I forgot what the name of the song was, but it's, it's a great song. Uh, there's a line that I think it goes, um, it's only a lifetime. It's not long enough. 
So uh, it kind of just made me reflect on my own, like my own mortality. It's it's life is like really is just life is long. Life is also short uh, because when you're in the moment, it feels like forever. But when you look back on things, it feels like yesterday. I still feel like me graduating college was just yesterday, even though that was almost more than 10 years ago. As cliche as it is, um, enjoy the time you've got because it'll come and pass so quick um, and it, it would suck to be stuck in an emotion or a state of mind where it kept you from being happy. Not even a state of mind, a state of, uh, to be in a place or a state of mind or you're living mentally and emotionally where you feel like you can't be content and experience joy, uh, where you can't express yourself, honestly. And if that's difficult, I'm not a expert or anything, but therapy helped me a fuck ton. But you have to want the change. You have to want the growth uh, because people can say, go to the gym all they want and for you to build that muscle and burn that fat, all that stuff. But if you don't want it, it ain't going to work. It's not going to make you stick. It's not going to make you stay with it um, because growth is not static.